Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? Oh man, okay, unconditional love in reverse. So somebody here that didn't give you the love that you deserved, that you needed. You gave this person unconditional love. I feel like this is somebody here who may have ghosted you. This is somebody here who is thinking about like the love that they gave you was fake, right? They had on a mask. It wasn't genuine. No love. They acted like they gave you love. I feel like you gave this person love. I, I would be surprised if I saw the Queen of Cups energy come out, but we'll see. Show me more. So this person was not for sure um, that they wanted to be with you, commit to you. Okay. Yeah, now they feel guilty about that shit. Sabotage. They sabotaged it. See, here's the thing. I feel like somebody tried to hide something here. They tried to hide. You showed this person love, like real, true, genuine love. You showed up for this person that supported them. And now this person is now sitting alone somewhere feeling real guilty about the situation on how they sabotaged something that was actually real good. They sabotaged love from a real Queen of Cups energy, a real Earth Angel. I feel like you were brought into this person's life. And now look at look at how this person is in all this stress. They have their hand on the uh, they are stressed out. Somebody here is in the shadow right now. They're, they are being forced to see their shadow side. This person is forced being forced to see their shadow side. This person is going through an ego death for what they did to you. Uh, yeah, ego death, ascension, spiritual path, awakening. This person is going through an ego death. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They are going through some form of spiritual awakening. They're realizing what they did was just wrong date for a lot of y'all elimination on the bottom of the day it says i'm el eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us so a lot of you they didn't let go of their past they didn't let go of the options that they had they were giving you fake love they were wearing a mask you gave them real love okay you were very kind i feel like you showed up as the queen of cups king of cups energy whether you're a male or you are a female yeah it's unfortunate it's unfortunate. What's the, I'm yeah, I'm hearing it's unfortunate by Trey Songs, I believe. Hmm. What's this thoughts and isolating energy? Clarify this thoughts and isolation energy here for my collective, please. Clarify thoughts and isolation energy. Gemini, somebody could be a Gemini. Clarify thoughts in isolation with the magician, please. Somebody sitting back thinking about what it is that they could do. How can they change the situation? Clarify thoughts, isolation with magician. The strength card. Leo energy. Wow. And the ace of cups, like I said. This person held back. They held back from you, but what they really want is this real true love and they want it back. The real true love that you gave this person, they really want it back. Wow. But they are pride and ego, pride and ego. Now they're guilty. They're going through an ego death. Like I said, you know, a lot of y'all are, were strong and you moved away from this person and you don't really want anything to do with them and you've moved on you've turned your back on this person and you're, a lot of you guys are looking not looking back you're you are focused on what's in front of you you're not focused on the past but they want to come in and bring a love offer so now they're over here contemplating thinking they're spending a lot of time alone they've been forced to see themselves for how they really acted Going through this ego death, spirit is really forcing this person. Like I feel like this person is getting a lot of signs, you know, um, Knight of Cups. They have something emotional they want to say to you, but this person really has problems with like discussing how they feel or putting how they feel, putting their feelings on the table, being open and honest with themselves. Let alone being able to be open and honest with you. This person struggles with that. Clarify this unconditional love in reverse. And look what came out. Knight of Cups. I'm telling you. <laughs> this person showed up as. This, for some of y'all this person could be a younger water sign. There could have been an age difference here. 
But yeah, thank you. Look at this shit. The devil, Capricorn energy. That's what I'm saying. They sabotage this. They were fake love, love bomber, Casanova, uh, or somebody who love bomb said wearing a mask is basically what I was saying earlier. Real toxic energy here. Justice energy, Libra. You could be a Libra. They could be a Libra here. I feel like this person's getting karma for what they did to you in their own life, what they're experiencing right now. They're like, oh my God, that's why they feel so guilty. That's why they're being forced to see their shadow self. You see how this person's in the dark here and then they're like being forced to move into the light because they're being forced to see like what they did to you and how they acted. And now they're seeing the error of their ways, which is good because like you could have been I feel like you were placed in this person's life for them to see and experience real, true, unconditional love. And they just rejected it, I feel like. And now they feel real guilty. This person feels naked. Like, they have a problem with really expressing their real, true emotion with you, Collective. They have a, a, a they do have a difficult time. I feel like somebody needs to see a therapist here. It was all cool and good for them to love bomb you and receive the love that you were giving them and be loving and kind to because they to keep it real they accepted the love you gave them but when it came to being reciprocal what they gave you was fake because i feel like they didn't know how to do it they didn't know how to give you they were in this knight of cups and devil energy mm. somebody learning the hard way now Clarify guilt and sabotage. This is somebody here, Seven of Wands. They could be an Aries. They could be an, a Sagittarius or a Leo, but they don't have to be. This is somebody here who feels guilty for... They have trust issues, okay? This is somebody who feels guilty for not opening up to you like we literally just talked about. This person did not know how to receive good unconditional clean pure love yeah they did every for some of y'all this person could have blocked you or or didn't want to talk about their feelings like i said you know we clarify this guilt and sabotage energy you could have blocked this person because because yeah ended you blocked this person and you ended it with them for some of y'all this person may have ghosted you and blocked you you know and done something crazy but the world card with the seven of wands is somebody saying you know what this person feels so guilty because you blocked them because you ended th things with them you ended this repetitive cycle that you like weren't going to put up with this bull this bull now they want to bring balance back into the situation. Now they want to heal the situation. They know they need to do some healing here. Somebody could be a Sagittarius with the temperance energy. That's about patience. I really feel like y'all were real patient with this person. Again, the Queen of Cups energy, King of Cups energy is somebody who is very patient. Clarify the Ascension spiritual path and awakening energy for my collective. Oh, oh, what was that? It's difficult for this person to move on and forget about you. The fool card is here with the four of pentacles. I feel like this person is hard to let. Part of this person's reason why they weren't able to connect with you and receive that love and give it back in a reciprocal manner, because I do believe that this person loved you, they just hid it, they wore a mask, is because they were still holding on to something from the past. Something from the past, this is somebody who here who holds grudges, or they hold on to the past. Um, they do think about whether or not it's possible for you to to move past the past and just start over again. They do think about that. This person thinks about that quite often. That's why this thoughts and isolation energy is here. That's why this person feels so guilty. And that's why they know they sabotage this. They know that there are some things that they need to change. There are some things that this person needs to change. Legit, like... But there's some stubbornness. There's some... What, what's this Four of Pentacles? What's this Four of Pentacles? They could be an Aries. They could be an Aquarius. What's this Four of Pentacles, please? Thank you. The Eight of Wands. They are really thinking they want to talk to you. 
and they're wishing they would have took some action. Clarify the Eight of Wands. What's this action? What does this person want to say to my collective? What action do they want to take here? I just saw the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. This person may want to call you and see if you're still single. They may want to move towards you and take some form of action to see if you're single. Clarify the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, please. Um, I feel like this person is afraid to approach you because they feel like, yeah, this person is, has been slow to move towards you because uh, they're afraid you have somebody else. You're with somebody else. They, they for, are afraid that you might be rejected. He, they they may be rejected. Nine of Pentacles, um, mm, they're concerned. Like, is the collective sing, still single? Do they still love me? Do they still feel the same passion for me? The sun, Leo energy. Is it over? They're realizing this is over. Scorpio and, and Leo energy. They re they are realizing this is over. There goes that King of Cups. I'm telling you, you're like, it's over. Okay. Is my King of Cups and Queen of Cups really done with me? This person is in their feelings. You know what? Part of this ascension process and this guilt process is was meant. Yeah, this person is finally seeing the situation for what it is. They're realizing they were forced. Child, they were forced to see this. They were forced to see this. Let's move on to a different deck. All right. So we have strong Gemini energy out here. Libra and strong Leo and Capricorn and uh, Aquarius and Aries. Show me more here, Holy Spirit. Addiction. So for some, we do see the devil is already out here, right? But this person, I feel like, is obsessed with you. They're obsessively thinking about you. Some of y'all, this person is very possessive and controlling, like I was saying earlier. Like, this person can't let go of the past. They don't want to let go of you, but they don't want to change. That was the energy that they were in. And there's an emotional block with this person. They didn't know how to be naked and just wear their heart on their sleeve or show up for you and receive that love and give that love back because they were scared because they're holding all the stuff from the past and they're still chained to this energy. Show me more. What else, Holy Spirit, about this person? Toxic. Oh, man. That's so sad. Toxic drama, arguments, incompatible. That's so sad. That's so unfortunate. You know, death energy. I told y'all, Scorpio strong. It's, it's over. This person is fearing that it is over. I feel like you got you guys are happy that this is over. You feel like there's no second chances. I'm not going to try this with you again. I'm moving on if you can't change. If you don't want to do anything different. If you don't want to tell me how you feel. If you don't want to show me what I deserve. If you don't want to give me what I was able to give you. If you don't want to change, I'm just done. What's dead is dead. What's gone is gone. What's done is done. That's what's here. Show me more. This person is still hopeful though. They are still hoping that you still love them and that you still have some feelings for them. They're hoping that they can regain your trust back. They are hoping they can regain your trust. Show me more here. I mean, here's the deal. You could have just been brought into this person's life. Yeah, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past. Perception. They're realizing what they did in the past was just awful. For some of y'all, they really stabbed you in the back and, and hurt you with their deception, with their lies. You were not expecting this person. Yeah, deception and heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, lost, grieving, despair, and breakup. See, you really did love this person unconditionally, like, unconditionally, like I said. Self-love, wholeness, affection, and attraction selflessness you showed up as this king of cups queen of cups you selflessly loved and gave to this person but they broke your heart and stabbed your back it stabbed you in the back like so this is their karma especially with the justice being here this is their karma their karma for a lot of you guys is for was for them to experience real love it was for them to experience to for maybe this was for them you know how okay y'all know how 
they used to say, and this is a real thing, you spit, put so much time, effort, and energy into somebody, and then when they move on to the next person, they, boom, they married, and you'd be like, damn, how did that happen? Well, they met you, and they realized what real love, true love was, and they did some healing. Now, now if this person broke up with you or ghosted you, and, and three months later they got married, they still toxic. That's not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the people who, like, maybe a year or two later, this person married somebody else. Like, this person actually was forced to see themselves and do the work. And that's who, and so that was, could have been your sole purpose for this person on this journey was to show them real love and for them to see how they sabotaged something and to see, and see how toxic they were. This person's waiting. Look at this solitude energy. Definitely a lot of Virgo energy here. They're taking a break from everybody and they're spending a lot of time alone right now, like isolating themselves. They're really obsessively thinking about you. Yeah, so much so where they're having a lot of tele uh, telepathic communication with this person. They close their eyes and they try to talk to you or connect with you in the 5D uh, or maybe they're hoping that you will hear them. <laughs> You know, they're waiting to hear from you. They're hoping they're going to hear from you, but I don't feel like you're waiting. I don't feel like you're waiting here. Partying. Let's see what this partying energy is about. So this person is trying, is basically doing everything. Okay. This person did everything they could to get you off of their mind. So, so for a very long time, this person avoided being alone. Or they could be in this energy of like, they spent so much time being alone, thinking about you, overthinking the situation, trying to figure out what they can do to make it work, what they can say to you to get you back, um, to forgive them. Now they could be in this phase of, like, phase of partying and hanging out with their friends just so they don't have to be alone. This person don't know how to be alone. They don't know how to be without you. Being without you, yeah, emotional roller coaster, high rush, adrenaline rush. This person does like to hang out, have fun, but they do that to get their mind off of you because they're having a lot of issues here. They don't know how to take the action to come towards you. Waiting game. Yeah, for a long time, this person was waiting on you and you didn't take action. And so now this person is literally, male or female, doesn't matter. Now they are in their head like, oh my goodness, the collective is not coming back. There are no second chances. What am I going to do? Is the collective still single? Do they still want me? You know, the lovers, the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles. Are they still single? Do they still want me? Do they have somebody else? Am I still a, 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 on the in the black book on the runner up list? I don't think you are if you're cross-watching. Shut down. You may have shut down. You know, you shut down on this person, but I feel like this person shut down on you first. They're, they're now, because they're not getting what they want from you or because they haven't heard from you, they were waiting all this time to hear from you and they haven't heard back from you. Now they're like, okay, I don't want to be with nobody because I can't be with the collective. I don't want anybody else. They gonna be waiting a long time. I hope they don't they don't hold their breath. That's what I feel like. Oh, what's this gossiping energy about here? What's this gossiping? So this person is talking to their friends and family about like what? Okay. They feel like you're treating them like, okay, how can I say this? This is somebody who is now just now really realizing that you showed them real true love and that they are coming to terms with, I mean, they're admitting to themselves, right? Having this ego death, they're now ready to realize that they were the reason they sabotaged this, but they feel like they are the victim. They feel like now you're treating them like trash, like you don't care, that you don't love them anymore. Like they feel like they were discarded and thrown out. Somebody's gossiping about what they see on social media. 
you could be living your best life here and posting things on social media and just minding your own business and this person is gossiping with somebody else about what you have going on in your life what else here yeah you they do feel they do feel like you discarded them and throw them out played out this is how you feel about them you don't care what this person has to say. For some of y'all, this person is watching you. Yeah, bad reputation. This person is acting like they are unfazed. Unfazed came out in reverse. But they're acting like whatever it is that they see on social media or whatever somebody is saying to them or mentioning to them, whether it's a group of friends, some people or whoever, they are really legit acting like they don't care. But they do care. They care so much that they created a fake account or they're asking about you or they're spying or, you know, they're on your Facebook or your Twitter. And they, I don't, all in the comment section, trying to see who is saying something to you, when they said it, going to those other people accounts to see who they are, how you know them. Who Who is this? Somebody has a bad reputation here. What's this bad reputation? Because I know it's not you. Who is this bad reputation energy? Oh, the person that misses you. Okay. <laughs> I've never missed anyone the way I miss you. Silent moves. This person, like I said, is silently stalking and watching you. They're not telling people that they miss you. You know what this is? This person is... Oh my gosh, this person is talking to other people bad about you because they don't want to admit that they were wrong. They don't want to admit that they really miss you. They don't want to admit that they still feel they still haven't let you go. They don't want to admit that they were a player. The player got played. You left them. They don't want to admit that you really like that they miss you. They don't want to admit that. So it's almost like you played the player. Not only is this person afraid to like admit that they miss you, but they are like pleasuring themselves to whatever pictures that they see on social media or whatever pictures or videos they have on their phone. Let me get one more. Listen, I feel like you're not confused anymore, but this person is still confused they don't really know what they want they do realize that they were the one who caused this whole issue they realize they they are the reason their lack of emotional availability hello was a burden and somebody is overwhelmed with like these emotions there's like a lot going on in this person's life and they're ready to, to just like this shit is so heavy they're ready to let it go Confessions part two Usher is playing. I don't know. But what does this person want to say to the collector? Any messages what this person wants to say? I knew you were the one when I met you. Hmm? <laughs> I need to tell you the truth. Hmm? I need to tell you that I sabotaged this and I feel so guilty. I was not emotionally available. I was, I don't want to talk negative about anybody because people grow, they learn. What else does this person want to say to the collector, please? Mm -mm -mm. Sure. I'm on my way to you. Oh my gosh, they want to, they want to come back. I really do care even though I don't show it. Tuh. Huh? You understand? You see what I'm saying? They do care. They a damn lie. They gossiping with people, family members, friends, whoever these people are that they are talking about. Somebody might bring up your name and they're like, oh, well, fuck that person or I don't care about them. Yeah, they do. It's a lie. I want a future with you. They want a future with you, collective. It's all a lie. They really do care. Child, I realize all the mistakes I've made. We can't make it up. Can y'all see that? Oh, wait. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me do it this way. I realize I made the mistakes. They realize all the mistakes they made. Okay. I'm going to end it there because I feel like we, we, we got 
um, some good information. Um, oh, you might be dealing with a Libra or you could be a Libra. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. That definitely sounds like some Aquarius shit, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. See you later. Bye.